<clears throat> Hello everyone. Um, readings for November. It's Halloween night here. Uh, here where I live, it's traditionally called uh, Jade, which means old people. <laughs> uh, it's an old Polish word. Old people, not necessarily dead. So this time, this very special time of the year, is connected with wisdom of old people. And moreover, the wisdom of the dead. And that's why uh, this month I wanted to use this deck. Santa Muerta Tower of Deck, which uh, is very much containing death, as you can see. The skull, beautifully painted. But what you can read here is Memento Vivere, which means remember about life. And what what I think is that what makes life really meaningful is death. It's not the end of life, as it is very wisely mentioned here. Death isn't the opposite of life. If there is anything opposite to death, it's birth, not life. So death as a part of life, as a very valuable particle that makes life really what it is, really worth living. And I waited for this deck to come and it came, it, ha it has come today uh, to my house. So I'm going to use it. I think I'm, I'm going to make a review of this in English, but um, not today. I want to make readings. And I also want to mention that uh, a full moon in Taurus is coming in a few days. I think it's uh, Saturday morning here where I live in Europe. Mm, so in a few days. And this uh, this moon is all about abundance. It's all about wealth. It's all about how much we can receive from life. I don't want to say take, but receive. How open we are to receive and how safe we are with it. And that's why these readings uh, are somehow profiled into this direction. How to make the best of life. How to receive as much as we can, nurturing ourselves during this time. Okay, so let's start our readings. See you in your sign. Hello Capricorn, a reading for you for November 2017. The cards are already shuffled. Now I just want to cut them. So please guide me for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. So that's you, the Ace of Swords. The truth. Blinding. What's uh, your challenge, which can also be your chance? The Six of Swords. The Unexpected. The High Priestess. Beautiful card. Look at her. Gone. Absolutely gorgeous deck. And the last one, well, not the last actually, <laughs> but the outcome of this, or the view, the insight, the vista. Something important you need to see about the situation. 
A two of cups. Da da da. The love. And the advice from the dead, the last card, is the hermit. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the light. Here it is. See? Wonderful card. Okay. Uh, let's arrange it the way it should be. <laughs> yep. And the background energy, the energy of your environment, is Five of Wands. Uh, when I see this, I see a fire starter. I see someone with matches who's ready to set something on fire. But uh, another aspect of it is that there are only five matches. So uh, whatever is the conflict around you, it's not ever ending. It's what I feel because there are only five matches. It won't last forever. I always say it's a state. We need to mm, let ourselves be in for a while because this is uh, each of these matches is valuable. Each of these matches can start a fire. Which means that there is a potential in each and every thought or each and every idea standing behind one of ones or the you know the urge to do something it's it's always very uh, each and every one of them is valuable is worth considering, and perhaps now you don't know which one to choose, but you will you will so let yourself be in this state the state of potential but not chosen yet which one which potential would you uh, would you prefer okay now uh, your energy the main energy is the ace of swords what's oh, with this which is all about Truth and new beginning, new beginning in your head, a new idea, perhaps a very bright one. Uh, that's why I said blinded by the light, something very, uh, very important and very obvious and very true occurring in your head. Let's look what the little book has to say about it. It's, I, I find it very useful. And I like the the meanings in, in this book because they are quite different than the ones we are used to. Uh, so there's a new insight and I love it. The Ace of Swords represents a strong conquest force, a genuine intelligence that is penetrating and aggressive, a very dynamic card that is aligned with high ideas, but for this reason could easily become sinister, bringing an excesses violence and extreme behavior so the crusader aspect of uh, this card is highlighted here and the advice f uh, of the dead is evaluate and choose carefully the direction in which you wish to channel your abundant intellectual and subconscious energies so there's something to choose here and uh, that's where both these tools come to mind because high priestess is number two and two of cups is of course number two and when there is two there is always something to choose me or you me or they my mind my intellect or my intuition or my feelings so there is aspect of choosing here of leaving something behind perhaps Mm, and uh, the choice to leave something behind. Why do I say about leaving? Because that's your challenge or chance 
leaving something behind with six of swords. Six of swords is always about travel, about moving uh, from one place to another. And it doesn't have to be in the material world. It can be the, the world of ideas, especially that these are swords we are talking about. Look at the skies here. Wow! Absolutely gorgeous deck. So you're moving. You can move. You can leave some idea uh, behind and move into a more stable place, more stable phase of your life. Uh, perhaps more mm, nurturing for you, convenient for you. What's unexpected is high pri the high priestess. The high priestess talks about uh, mysteries, but the mm, the most important thing is that she already knows all the mysteries. So perhaps the answer to to your question is already there in your heart, and you unexpectedly find it out. Uh, the power of your intuition may come into play. You may be surprised by just how much you were right about something. It's a very feminine force. As you can see, there's a crescent moon here at her feet. I want to show you the beauty of this card. So she's reading something from this mysterious book about strange creatures and she's holding the key to to wisdom. She has it all. She already knows. And this inner knowledge, this this wisdom, I think it it surprises you. You didn't know it's already here. So I have this feeling that something's happening very fast here, faster than you could imagine. The change is faster than you could imagine, than, than you could predict. And it, con it, it, it concerns love. It concerns partnership, being together as one, touching hearts. You can see she's touching his heart. And he's giving her thoughts. So perhaps there's a new idea if you are in a relationship that you share with your beloved one. Uh, that you want to proceed with. And you don't expect the other will, will agree, but it seems that the other already knows. It's a very, uh, very mysterious reading, but also I feel there's a real connection between you and somebody else here. Like a like electricity. Um, going through everything like neutrinos perv um, pervading everything soaking into everything and you just work on the same way wavelength i feel like the other person already knows what what's what's on your mind here There's the sense of structure and and balance and harmony among the quite chaotic environment. So that's very peaceful. Uh, it's a very peaceful reading, uh, very energetic. But I think this energy goes into putting uh, something into a more harmonious state, especially considering your emotional um, relationships 
And the advice from the dead is the hermit, as you can see. He's here in this seclusion, in a coffin, with everlasting light. Let's look what what's the advice of the dead here for you. <clears throat> the Hermit. The Hermit represents a positive crisis to deal with and to relinquish to. A slow but profound evolution. A slow but profound evolution is uh, in a rather long period of silence and removal, but at times it is actually in the deepest darkness we, dis we rediscover our own light and acquire wisdom. This card also represents a paternal archetype, a wise figure, prudent, a master who functions for us as a guide and transitionary figure, fi figure uh, ready to illuminate our journey. An excess of isolation, however, can bring with it certain slowness, an inability to be able to develop certain talent, uh, latent talents, or a pe period of stasis and abnegation. And the advice of the dead is, take the time necessary for your actions, evaluating what you need to renounce or what you should remove from yourself in order to leave a situation that is placing you in difficulty. So, if you hesitate to move to a better place, don't. And I've, I would expect support from the loved ones from the, those people close to you. And they feel the same, is what I see. They feel and they see the same as you. So, if you are afraid of the outer conflict, know that it's only in your head. And um, there is a, a harmony here to be pursued together with with someone you love, with someone who loves you. So a beautiful reading for you, Capricorn, and a very um, serene one, I would say. Oh, well, that's what I wish you, my dear Capricorn. Uh, I wish you uh, a beautiful month, a fruitful month, harmonious one, and I hope I see you next month. Bye-bye.